Good morning. One of the many joys of the Pennines is finding the little gems of villages nestled in the valleys. And we're at one this morning. Welcome to Blanchland. And good morning. Blanchard's a lovely village, but it's not the reason I'm here. Today, I'm hiking along the Carrier's Way, which, like many other places in the North Pennines, is a lead mining trail. And I believe it's where they used to take the lead from the North Pennines on ponies down to the Tyne Valley. Obviously it's not used anymore in that sense, but there's still some lovely scenery. Speaking of lead mines, there's Shildon Engine House, which was a pumping station for the lead mines. Unfortunately it's a bit overgrown, so it doesn't really show well on video. Um, but right next to the house, just to the my left of it, is a shaft that's been capped. It's 215 metres deep, or 715 feet. It's a long way down. Ah, uh, Penny Pie House. So named because that's exactly what it used to do. Sell pies for a penny. And as I leave Blanchland and Penny Pie House behind, opening the gate onto the wilderness in front of me, Slowly climbing higher and higher onto Blanchland Moor and Bulbeck Common. And in the shadow of Bolt's Law, I begin my hike to the Carrier's Way. Start walking along the carrier's way. Which young men with ponies used to walk 200 years ago, carrying panniers of lead ore down to the North Tyne area. It is kind of humbling when you realise they've done this 
in all weathers. Yes, as I make my way now along the carrier's way, you can probably see the scenery opening up behind me. But oh boy, is this squelchy. Yep. So coming through this every day with a pit pony in the 1800s wouldn't have been ideal. This is a pretty deep gully now, no doubt worn out by a good few years of men and ponies walking backwards and forwards. I wouldn't like to do this in the winter. along Bullbeck Common and Burkside Fell, admiring the scenery on my way to the lodge at Blackburn Head. Ah, the shooting lodge. Doesn't appear to be anybody home. The dead tree. I'm now going to sit down, have my lunch, and admire the view of Birkdale and the ancient borough of Hexhamshire. Right, that's me fed and watered. Now then, this dead tree is attracting my attention, but the difficulty I'm having is obviously with getting the background right. Because on one side you've got green fields and on this side you've got brown heather um, and it's trying to find a balance between the two so what I've decided is I'm going to there's a little valley just literally at the bottom of this where these power lines go and it all joins seems to join there so I'm going to try and get the tree to dissect them and maybe come together might look interesting so at the moment I'm at F8 ISO 100 and it gives me a shutter speed of 1 320th of a second and I believe I'm at 35 millimeters. As always, check the focus on the back. Yep, nice and sharp. And then done. Time to rejoin the carrier's way. Still a lovely day. Totally flat swamp bed. Yes, basically we've got here. It's it's almost like a miniature Durham. You've got this big lump of land in the middle, and round all of the sides, it goes right round to the other side. Is rather than the river weir, it's bog. Totally bizarre, but has to be crossed. Yep, that is some plodge. I mean, there are boards down just on the path just over here, but my, it is still soggy. Whew.
Yep, you can see the shape of it a little better here. It just sticks out in the middle of flat. So you've got to cross somewhere in the bottom. Totally weird. Uh, yep, definitely something different there. And as we leave the carrier's way, which continues on for about another kilometre and a half that way, um, we're now going to take a slight detour and visit somewhere rather strange. Welcome to Riddleham Hope. Riddleham Hope. It's almost totally walled in. It's weird. All around all the sides there's stone walling. There's a gate in and a sty at the other side. And that's it. Bizarre. That's it, totally walled in and we're coming across what basically is a barn. I can just slowly turn it around, we have the sun, here we go. It's own little village, weird. It is very weird because basically it feels like I'm going along a perfectly grassed road. So as I'm going past ruined barns or houses, it still feels very strange. Um, so if I could spin her that way, maybe I'll see better. See? It's just a purely straight green drive, basically. But there's nothing here. Never mind. Still a nice walk, though. I'm still thoroughly enjoying it. It is totally bizarre. We have this perfectly formed green lane road that leads to a perfectly formed wall. Saying that it is new, uh, but still a wall. Never mind. And it continues on the other side. <sighs> no idea. And as I leave Riddleham Hope in the distance, heading towards New Biggin and Bay Bridge, and finally the car and home, I am excited to check the images I've captured on today's hike. As this hike draws to a close and darkness is starting to descend, it's been a good one. I've enjoyed it. Hope you have as well. 
Don't forget, if you've liked this video or any of the videos that I've put up, please do give that thumbs up button a good mashing and hit that subscribe button and that way you'll get a first notification of whenever a new video goes up. So whether you've enjoyed scenery, the views, or even just the journey, do not forget everything you've seen in this video, everything on this hike, this is nature.